Welcome to 2018 and welcome to the Venturesome channel and the new tutorial. Freddy is still with us and I hope Jake. you... What? I forgot my tripod. Oh, uh, again? Okay, so that's why I'm gonna show you how you can make this shaky footage look stable. Like that. Stable, 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 stable. Start off by finding the shaky shots in your timeline and copy them onto a new layer. Then go to Effects and search for Warp Stabilizer. Take that effect and drag and drop it onto the shots you want to stabilize. Then you need to wait a bit, depending on the length of your shot. As soon as it has finished analyzing, you will notice a crop. We will go through the settings now to get rid of the stuff we don't want. We leave Result and Smooth Motion. For the smoothness, we choose 10%. Method will stay subspace warp. The preserve scale will stay unchecked. The framing stays on the third one, which is stabilize crop auto scale. In the advanced settings, you can make a detailed analysis and change the rolling shutter ripple. In most cases, it's fine if you just put the smoothness to 10% and leave the rest of the settings as they are. That's it, it's fast, it's easy, but it's really powerful. We use the effect all the time, even on footage that's already stabilized, for example with a gimbal or a glide cam or whatever, because it just gives it that final touch of smoothness and looks really, really, really professional. If you have any further questions, leave a comment below, smack the subscribe button for more content like this, and I hope to see you next week when I will show you something new. Bye.